So now my friends, we want to set up our project, which is going to be quite an easy task. So we're going to open our Visual Studio code, and then you're going to go File, and then you're going to go Open Folder, and then simply you can create any empty folder anywhere, and then you choose that folder, okay? It's going to be empty, nothing special, and then you open it. And then if you open the Explorer right here, you're going to see that you opened that empty project, okay? Or that empty folder. And right here, we're going to have our, you know, set up on our organization for our folders, okay? And fine. So first of all, we're going to start by index dot html okay that's the first file you can use this exclamation mark okay and then the image is going to give you this uh, tab and you're going to click enter and this is going to generate an index.html file for you okay so this is like a border plate for the html files then we're going to create a new folder this is going to be called assets and this is going to have all the folders that we're going to need okay so inside this we're going to have a folder for our size and then inside the assets themselves, we're going to have a folder for the JavaScript. Okay. And then we're going to have another one that's going to be, for like example, our images. Also, we're going to have our icons. And then we're going to also have our fonts. Okay. Like that. The last folder will be the shaders folder. Okay. So now we have all our folders ready. So now I want to set up npm. So I want to initialize an npm project so we can get you know access to the npm library. That's why we installed Node.js. Okay. So I'm going to open console G to open the console. If you don't have it, uh, you know, in um, if you have like a Mac or something, it's different than Windows. Then you go run, and then now you go to terminal and then new terminal. Okay. And then you can see like the shortcut for you. Okay. New terminal and it's going to open the terminal for you. Okay. So let me remove one. So now we have this one, okay? So to initialize an NPM project, we're going to go NPM init, okay? And that's how you initialize it. But you want to add dash Y because we're going to avoid those all the questions that's going to show you like just, just you know, changes the information that you can make changes later, okay? So that's why we add the dash Y so we don't get those questions, okay? So but NPM init, that's going to initialize it. So I click enter. And that's going to initialize it so now let me close the console and go back we have a new file which is the package.json you open that and you have all the informations right okay these are the informations that we need to fill up you know if we, <laughs> we didn't use the dash y okay so like the name you can name your project the version description for the project and then main you know the um, the entry points for your project for example this is going to be changing okay but that's fine there's no problem right here and then the author and all the other informations right okay so for the npm this is really okay so if we need to install any packages now we can do it simply without any problem also we need a bundler for our application my choice is going to be parser because it's very, very simple to set up and it's actually pretty powerful so if you don't know what a, a bundler is okay so i'm not going to bore you with uh, what bundlers are so simply all it's going to give us is a, a div server okay so everything writes our code is going to be displayed in the browser so we can see the changes that we have and it has this feature that's called heart re reloading so all it does it just simply anything you know any changes that we make we're going to see it directly in the browser okay so it refreshes the browser for us without the need for ourselves to do it okay so that's actually a very good feature and also it's going to show, show us if we have any errors in our application and also with some suggestions to how to fix it okay so it's more friendly and better than the you know that the error that you see in the console in the browser okay and then it has a lot of you know other features that you can see for yourself but these are the main thing also when we want to like um, host our application so we need a build version okay which is uh, a version that is actually very very optimized and pro production ready okay so this is going to be very powerful for us and it's going to help us a lot so it has many many you know uh, if you want to learn more about them you can go to the website you can you know look for bundlers they are very very powerful also we're going to need this with sas so um, you're going to see everything you know in action so now i install the parcel builder so simply open the console and then npm install or just a shortcut npmi so this is you know you use that to install any package and then after that we just have the name of the package for example parcel parcel bundler okay and this way you can install it but i want to add it just as a development dependency okay we want to use this only in the development part so we want to host the application or have the production you know application we don't want that we only want to use it right here, okay so we're going to use save save dev okay so we can install it only as a development dependency and enter and we're just going to wait till it installs So 
so now it's done we can you know run our application directly from here okay so we can use clear so we can clear the console and then simply we can use parcel and then we're going to use the nc points which is going to be our file index.html okay and then click enter and that's going to run our application in a development server okay so you just wait a little bit and as you see right now server running ads okay so if you use control and then click on this okay it's going to open our application in the server okay also you can let me cl uh, close this so control uh, c and right here you can use also parcel index and then you use dash dash and then open okay and that's going to open it directly without the need to click on the link so click again and then wait and it's going to open it for you directly right here okay so if you go back to our index so let me close that so in the body let me add welcome for example and now if you go uh, back right here okay let me refresh this and as you see right here we have welcome okay so that's the first thing now we don't want all the time to go in the console and write like the parcel and then in index.html all the dash dash open so it's kind of long okay so there's a shortcut for that so we can let me close this right here and then close the console go back to the package the json right here we have this close that we have this script right here okay and right here we can have our scripts okay so simply uh, we can name it right here anything for example dev that means we are running our development server and the code that we used to run in the console which was parcel and then index.html and then dash dash open we can now have it as a uh, as a script so simply now if i open the console again i'm not gonna write all of that but simply i'm just gonna go npm run so this is how you run a script and then dev and that's gonna translate to parcel index .html dash dash open okay so now i click again and as you see this is the code that it's gonna run and it's gonna open it right here in the browser okay so this is like a cooler way to do it and a very you know easy way okay we're gonna have another script so let me add the dash right here okay not dash a comma so right here we're gonna have another one which is gonna be build okay we're gonna make few changes for now but this is what's gonna be this is gonna be build so this is going to give us the version the build version that we can use to host so let me remove this from here so this is how to be if we want to run that we can just simply run npm run build okay and it's going to run this code and all it does is going to give us this folder right here this with all the files that we need okay so right now we only have the uh, index.html but we can have like styles and also other files like for the javascript etc also i want to make a few changes to the layout that we had so let me close everything so I'm going to create a new folder, I'm going to call it src, which is source, and then I'm going to put the index and also the assets inside this, okay, like that. So I'm going to move everything right here. So now this is a better setup, okay, save the files for the parcel, and also close this, and we have the source, where it has the assets and also the index.html, okay. So now we can't run the code from the index directly. We need to go to the source folder and then the index.html. Okay, so it says source and then the index.html. So now if you open the console again, let me close that again and then run that again. So uh, npm run dev and then enter. And this is gonna do the same thing. Okay, and now it's opened right here and we can see it's in the browser. Now, one of the coolest features of the parcel bundler, it has the ability to turn our SAS files, okay, into CSS automatically without the need to have a compiler, okay? So if you go back to assets and then styles, and then we create a new file, for example, base.scss, okay, which is a SAS file. It's simply, if you don't know what SAS is, it's simply CSS, but it's a bit more powerful. It's still the same code, you know, it, it just have few additional things to it, okay? So for example, if we went right here, and then the body, and then the background red, and then we go back to the right here to the index and then import it so from assets and then from styles and then base.scss so this is a sas file so before you know having parcel you need like to have a compiler like as you see watch sas right here this is a compiler for sas which we use to click and then it trans uh, you know it transform all the uh, sas files to css but with parcel you don't need to do that you simply go back to the browser refresh and it's working without even the need to do anything you just add it you know the sas file it works which is actually pretty amazing you know with the you know parcel okay so there's another cool things about parcel which we don't need actually to add all the files right here okay we can just remove that like that and now that's gonna remove like the size that we had so we can do it another way so we can go back 
to the assets and then the javascript file we can add a new file let's call it for example config.js and then right here i'm going to import so i'm going to go up and then go to the styles and then the base.scss and then save so let me close that so now if you go back to the index right here i need i can add it like for example in the header i'm just going to add the script tag which is going to simply the source of it is going to be the uh, file that we just created which is in the js config.js okay and then save so all it does it just import the styles right here and now if you go back right here and then you're going to see that it works so without even the need to import it directly right here so now if we have any other styles we can simply go right here and then import them here like all of them and then simply we're gonna find them uh, added to the uh, html file without the need to have like so many styles right here okay which gets annoying after a while so we can call this like size.js or config.js whatever you want i'm gonna call it config.js so i don't know we, we may change that later so everything that we need we can just add this right here so like the import for the size import for our js file this is actually pretty pretty cool and this is actually a good way to work with a parser so now if you go back to the this folder right here you see this is all the files so some of them are duplicates because uh, it duplicates the file sometimes which is uh, we're gonna work on that so once we need whenever we run the application it deletes all the existing you know uh, files so don't worry about that but it just right here is gonna add all the files necessary like the index and then and then the size that we had as you see as css and not ss so this was the setup part it's actually pretty simple it's, uh, it's not that much work so as you see parcel is very very good and now everything is configured for us so we can start work in a very very professional you know solid uh server, not server solid you know application base for our projects okay so see you next